All right, so of course today um, I'm going to work on Ice and Jay. Now I thought I was going to work on Max because I've actually made something for Max like a week or two ago that I've been excited to show. But um, I'm more excited about Ice and Jay because I've been getting all this stuff together. And, you know, they've both got a lot of detail, so I, I like doing the outfits. It's got a lot of detail to them. Now, I've already got um, this little underwear put on him. He's got, like, dark gray pants. So I had to paint uh, this fabric a dark gray because I didn't have a dark gray. So that's what I'm going to make the pants from. And then I didn't have black fabric, so I've had to paint um, fabric black. And then after I painted this fabric black, I did find some black. So I don't know. I'll use whichever I think's the best. But um, I think his shirt will be good. This will be good for the shirt. And this fabric that I've painted, I've put the Mod Podge on here to give it sort of a glossy look. <clears throat> this is going to be his uh, leather jacket. So I guess I can use the black for the shirt, the one that I painted for the jacket. And then he's got like this little plaid uh, shirt tied around his waist. And I found this plaid that almost looks like uh, the plaid shirt that he has. So I think that's going to look really, really good. And of course, I've got his hair. Um, this looks really, really yellow on screen. But um, I, I can play with the color a little bit with my chalks and stuff to darken it or lighten it or whatever. So I'll fix that on him. And I've got some strings. Um for his necklace he's got like two necklaces and then he's got a chain necklace so i found the smallest little uh silver chain that i've got so i've got all these parts and of course he's got some charms on his necklace so i'm just going to use some little tiny silver uh beads from this um so i think i've got all his stuff laid out and for ice um, I've went ahead and put his little underwear on too. Well, not really underwear, but just that little piece, um, for here. And then I'll put the legs on and he, he's got, I think he's got orange pants and he's got like a, uh, jacket that looks kind of like a Carhartt jacket. So I found some fabric that I think is a good color for that. And, of course, he's got this really uh, detailed shirt. His shirt is really unusual. It's got a lot of uh, colors and detail to it. And, of course, I wasn't ever going to find a piece of fabric that looks like his shirt. So what I've done is I've took a piece of gray, um, and I've marked out all these little squares, just made all these little squares. And then I've just went in. I, I don't know why I made that many squares. It didn't really need that much, but I've just painted in enough squares, you know, just looking at the picture of his shirt, and I tried to just sort of match up those colors and designs, and I'm just going to make his shirt like this, just cut it out from this piece here that I've painted, and I just hand-painted all those little squares into a sort of kind of a you know similar pattern so that's going to become his shirt and it doesn't matter what the back of it looks like because when he you put a jacket on here he doesn't really need a back or um sleeves for the shirt so this is going to be sort of like a a dicky if you know what a dicky is it's just like a collar like a fake uh collar and a fake uh shirt front so you're just going to see the front of it, and then the back I can just use the plain gray color. Because, um, you know, again, once I get that jacket put on, you're not going to really see a shirt anyway other than the little front part. And then this little strip of squares here, I'm going to cut that out, and that's going to be the collar uh, that'll go around and make his collar. 
And of course, he's got like this big gold uh, chain around his neck. And I'll use some of this black to make the hat. And of course, I'm going to paint his hair. I've got his hair all messed up right now, but I'm going to try to take all this off and repaint this myself. Um, and of course, I'll have to paint the shoes also because I think he's got white shoes. But um, I think I've got all the parts laid out. And if you watched my last video of Thackeray Binks, I'm just going to make their shirts and their pants the same way I did with Thackeray Binks. So you can just go back and watch that. But I'm going to just sit here uh, off camera and get their little outfits made. And there's certain little details I'll come back and show. Um, but as far as making these clothes, it's the same way that I did the Thackeray Binks outfit. So I've been working on getting these uh, little pants on. And I've, I've actually been doing a lot of stuff. I've been painting his socks and shoes. Um, and I'd done something stupid. Well, it wasn't really stupid because I didn't know better. But I gave him brown eyes. I've sat here painting his tiny little eyes brown. And then I find out his the, the actor did not have brown eyes. So now I'm going to have to make them blue again. Um, so I've been doing that. And <laughs> I've got this little hat started, which you can sort of see the two shapes that I've put together here. It's basically just like kind of a little thick ring with a little smaller ring glued around it. And you can sort of see how that's going to be a hat. And I've just got to go and cut this bottom half off. I just glued the smaller ring in the middle so it'd be easier to glue the two pieces and after it dries, I can just go in here and um, trim off this bottom part like this. And I can, I'll clean this up. I'm just getting the bulk of this off just so you can see how that's going to be a little hat. So that's for Ernie. Or ice, I guess I should say. Of course, I've just got to put a top on it. But before I get to all that stuff, i got to finish working on the pants. I've got these pants started. And he, I think he had sort of baggy pants, so I made these kind of big. Um, that's going to look so good. I cannot wait. I, I mean, I'm getting so excited uh, about making these two characters and for something on their pants, I had to make sure that I didn't glue this top part down because it needs to be movable. So I made sure not to glue this part to the body. And of course, his shirt can kind of come down and hide those parts there. Um, but they're looking pretty good. Um, I'm just bummed I painted his... Oops, uh-oh. I stuck that on there, and I don't even know if that white paint's dry. I think it is. Ooh, gosh, that freaks me out. See, I'm not paying attention. But um, i got to put another coat of white paint on these. And, uh, oh, and also, since I was painting his eyes, I've came back in on uh, uh, Emily, and I've been putting some little pupils in her eye. And I'm not done with those yet. And then I've put pupils in uh, Danny's because they just had blue eyes with a little white speck on it. They didn't actually have that black pupil. So I've been trying to make their eyes look a little more realistic. Um, but anyways, I've got their pants started. Just been sitting here piddling. I've been sitting here uh, watching uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I used to watch that when I was a kid and I forgot how cool that show was. I mean, even now as a grown-up, that's actually really good uh, episodes. If, if anybody can get Are You Afraid of the Dark, you should totally watch those because I'm like so addicted and I'm so focused on watching those that I'm watching that more than I'm actually working. And I'm going to sit here stuck all day watching that crazy show and just getting these done so slow. I mean, I could have done had these finished up if I wasn't watching that show. But anyway, I'm going to try to get them done. Uh, and I'll come back when I see anything else that I want to point out or do. 
Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to put carve his, uh, you know, the word ice on the back of his head. I may just paint it, but I'll come back when I figure that out. But I still, I ain't got very far. I still need to get all this part, all these parts glued on. I'd like to get their shirts put on. So I'm going to sit here and try to get all that done. Here's how I've done uh, the shirt for Jay, and that's probably actually how I'm going to do it for Ice. Also, I'll just cut it out the same shape. Um, I'll just sort of cut it out sort of the same shape as I did the last time for Thackeray. And I just brought these two back, uh, these two parts around and just glued them in the back. Um, and of course, the jacket will cover this. But... Um, and then also down in here, I'm not worried about it looking perfect because he'll have this little, uh, you know, shirt tied around his waist. So all this, you know, will get covered by the next layer. Um, and I've got Ice's uh, little shoes painted and they look kind of funny right now because I've got some clear gloss on them. So I'm going to start getting him dressed as soon as that gloss dries. All right, so this is where I'm at, and just step stepping back and looking at this on the camera, they look so cute. I mean, I'm in love with this one's shirt. I mean, everything's looking good. Now, his pants are a little puffy, but he I noticed he's got a cuff around the bottom of his pants, so I'm going to take this and glue a little strip around the bottom uh, to make the cuff and to also just kind of draw him in a little bit. Uh, and, of course, I've got to add his little uh, plaid shirt around his waist. Um, I've cut out some little details from some more of that black fabric, so I can just put his little, uh, some detail on his leather jacket. And then I'll take some silver paint and paint some little silver studs on there. Uh, of course, I've got to make his jacket, uh, finish up his hat. Now, the... The little hat that I've got here, as you saw earlier, I just trimmed that bottom off. But then I've glued a piece on the top that you can see, this funky little shape I've glued to the top. And I've just got to kind of do that the same way. Just go around and just trim that extra fabric off there. These are really sharp uh, little scissors. They are really good for tiny little stuff like this. I think these are like cosmetic scissors. I don't know if they're for like trimming like nose hair, you know? I don't know. But they're, you can get them in the little cosmetic area. But there's the little top of the hat. Now, I probably will go over this with uh, Mod Podge just to strengthen up where those pieces are glued. I want to go around that. You can see up in there where the glue's uh, still wet. But once I'm done, I'm probably going to glue that on just so I don't have to fool with like losing it or anything. But um, of course, I've got to uh, fix his little jacket, Mod Podge his hat, and just do all these little details. Uh, and then when we come back, we'll check out how they have turned out. Okay, so you can sort of see how they're looking, and I am so excited. I, it, it, Like I've said before, the more you get done on these, the, the cuter they are, and just the better they are, of course, because you're getting more detail done. But I've got this little, uh, this, this is all just pieced on him, so crazy-like. But I've got his uh, little sleeves on. Now this is his little jacket. It looks like a little vest right now. But I'm just going to slide this on sort of make it look a little more like a jacket and I think the only thing I've got to do on Jay back there is his hair uh, and some little details on the jacket and the collar or not a collar but a uh, necklace and oh my gosh look how cute this is starting to look now kind of glue this in place how I kind of want it but 
you can sort of see how they're looking and i cannot wait to get these done so i will um finish up their little details all right so i'm crazy about these two um i've had these done for a day or two now and um I'm just now finishing up this video. I, I actually did the video, but I didn't like all the stuff I was saying, or I've just added things to it. So I'm come back to redo this part. But anyway, I love how they look. I mean, I, there's just, uh, like I was saying, there's so much detail to these two characters. Um, and I think I've got everything on them that they need. Um, for the most part, uh, I know he had like this little earphone thing, but also he didn't wear those earphones all through the movie. So I didn't add those, uh, but I could always go back and do it if I decided to. But I did make some little props and in the, in the scene where they are sitting on the hood of the car, uh, you know, they've been rolling the yards and they've been smashing the pumpkins. So I've made these tiny little toilet paper rolls and smashed up some pumpkins and I've glued that to a little piece of plastic so you know it's just easier to keep it all together so they've got their little toilet paper rolls and their smashed pumpkins but also and I've actually made another one because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of it to just lay around but um, also when they're sitting on the hood of that car uh, Ice is eating out of a trick-or-treat bag. You know, they were stealing all the candy from the kids. So, um, and, and his bag was sort of a dark color with little white handles. So I made this out of some uh, construction paper, and I just painted on there a little Halloween decoration. And I've got another little smashed pumpkin, and I've got some little candy wrappers and some candy up front. And that's just some of those little uh, seed beads. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then, of course, there is one more thing uh, that I've added. Kind of a bigger piece that I have started working on. Because kind of like with Billy, uh, you know, I made his little graveyard stand for him to be displayed on. And I have also made a display for these. So I'm just going to grab that and get that together and uh, let you check that out. And here is what I've been working on for them. Uh, it's just this little piece of a road for all their little props to sit on. And you can see I've added some little leaves and some extra pieces of the toilet paper. Uh, now those toilet paper rolls are made from a straw. I just cut a little piece of a straw and just wrapped those in little strips of actual uh, toilet paper. And that turned out pretty cute, I think. Uh, I mean, it's so weird because I told my friend the other day, I said, you know what my favorite thing about this entire project is? I said, it's those crazy little toilet paper rolls. I mean, they, they're just so cute. And I just think they're so funny. But now the road is actually, um, I've got this idea from uh, another YouTuber called Supercar Garage USA. And I will link his video under the uh under this video in the description but this uh road is actually a uh roof shingle i was just looking up uh googled ways to make a road for dioramas and this guy just took a shingle from a roof and flipped it upside down and i just would have never thought of that so it just made the perfect little road and the texture of it is just so perfect it looks like asphalt um, and I just, I was just really excited about that. So as soon as I watched his video, I ran outside to our shed and grabbed up a shingle and cut it to the size that I wanted. And it's, it just couldn't have been more perfect. And I glued that to a piece of foam board just to, uh, strengthen it up some. Um, but I just absolutely love how this has all turned out. And so now I guess it's time to check out some of the pictures I've took. Okay, well, there was one more thing that I wanted to mention, and that is another YouTuber. Her name, or her YouTube name, I believe, is Montarsi's Miniatures, and I think I'm saying that right. But she is also working on a Hocus Pocus dollhouse, and hers is really, really good. I love watching her videos. She's doing a really good job, and I just wanted to mention hers and wanted you all to go over there and check out hers. 
I'll leave her link uh, also in the description under my video. Um, but hers is so good, and the outside of hers has just blown my mind. I love all the details she's done. I may copy a few of her ideas, uh, but I definitely need to think about um, doing a few more things to the outside of mine um, because hers has just really, you know, made mine look kind of blah after seeing hers. I just am so in love with hers, and she's doing such a great job. So anyways, uh, check hers out. And now I will show you pictures uh, for this week's video.